Live from the Breaking News and Weather Authority, this is WEAU 13 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Maria Blau. Skies have cleared out tonight with a sunny start to the Easter holiday in store, but showers could damper things late in the day. Let's get a first check of your forecast with Skywarn 13 meteorologist Derek Dahlman. Ten people are shot and two others are also hurt after a shooting this afternoon in South Carolina. Today marks the final day of National Public Safety Telecommunicators Week. Eileen Bush has worked as a dispatcher in Eau Claire for over 20 years. For Bush, being a dispatcher allows her to help her community one phone call at a time. She says her center takes calls from for all of Eau Claire County's police, fire, and EMS. Those calls can range anywhere from dangerous road conditions to CPR to childbirth and more. We're usually the first point of contact for everything, and then we're dispatching out the calls, and we're getting the, all the resources that are going to help, and we're the communication in between the caller and all the units arriving on scene. Bush says even though the job can be demanding, it can also be rewarding. She also says being a dispatcher is a team effort to keep everything running as smooth as possible. Altoona's annual Easter Bunny Breakfast and Easter Egg Hunt hopped back for its fourth year today. The city's Parks and Recreation Department hosted the excellent event for families with kids 9 and younger in River Prairie. After a warm breakfast and pictures with the Easter Bunny, kids got to hunt for Easter eggs. Recreation Manager Deborah Goldbach says the event wouldn't be possible without help from volunteers. Volunteers from the Altoona School District, from the National Honor Society and the Interact Club, along with the fire department and the police department. My department is three full-time staff, so it's awesome that we have all of these volunteers that help us because an event like this, we can't do it alone. Goldbach says over 500 bags of goodies were available for kids to take home after the Easter egg hunt. She adds, it's nice seeing families and their kids having some Easter fun. Hope Gospel Mission hosted its annual Easter community dinner today. People gathered in Eau Claire for lunch to celebrate the holiday. drive through meals were also available. Today's menu included traditional ham and potatoes and, of course, some cake for dessert. Hope Gospel Mission's founder and board president says it's great to be able to help those in need for the holiday. Coming up in Sports Scene 13, the Brewers hope to beat the Cardinals at home. First, how one school is wishing a special marathoner good luck as she heads off to her 31st Boston Marathon. A Green Bay Elementary School custodian will soon be running her 31st consecutive Boston Marathon. Before she heads to Boston, she received a surprise of a lifetime. Megan Kernan shares how students and staff will be cheering her on. Temperatures for Easter will be slightly warmer with a chance for showers arriving as well. But a significant warm up isn't too far out of reach. Meteorologist Derek Dahlman has the details next in your Skywarn 13 forecast. And perhaps the upper 60s with some scattered shower and storm chances by Saturday. Oh my goodness gracious, it's a roller coaster of <laughs> Weather and snow, rain, temperatures, the whole everything. Yeah, it, and of course, it's taken a lot of time to finally see those spring-like temperatures. And it's still early on yet, but right now, the latest uh, forecast models are showing good chances of that sticking around. So, we'll see what happens. We definitely will. Thanks, Derek. Coming up next in Sports Scene 13, one final game for the Chippewa Steel as they face the Minnesota Wilderness. And it was a busy day for one area small business as they celebrate the return of baseball. Jessica's in after this. If you're heading out for Easter tomorrow, it looks like the coat is necessary and maybe an umbrella for later in the day. Yeah, more so later in the day. Thankfully, much of Easter tomorrow looking to stay dry. We'll have those showers moving in between 5 and 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. That rain shower or those rain showers may mix in with some wet snow showers through Monday. 39 the high there. And by the end of the week, most of us getting excited, warming up into the 50s and the 60s as well. Excited is an understatement. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely getting excited. Thanks, Derek. Derek, thanks, Jessica. And thank you for joining us. Have a great rest of your night.